So this is the cakewalk rolling. As you can see, it's uh, it's got a few output ports. Um, it's also got digital out in the form of optical format. It's also got a few coax output jacks as well. Now the hack that I've done actually adds SPDIF in, terms, in the form of coax. So what you've actually got here on the underside is a little buffering circuit which takes the SPDIF output in optical format which goes to an LED buffers it and outputs an SPDIF AC coupled signal and, and I've brought it out to the a couple of output jacks. Now the other output jack is the SPDIF input. Now that accepts a normal SPDIF signal and then it in turn gets sent through and I've just tapped in, just tapped into the uh, sort of like a bypassing uh, one of the SPDIF signals. I've had to desolder a capacitor um, because normally the SPDIF signal is in optical form. It goes into an optical receiver and then into a capacitor. Now I've had to desolder that capacitor and allow me to bring in this new SPDIF signal into here. And I've had to use an external capacitor to link the two. So now you've got both got optical um, input and output and also coax input and output. So I've also uh, hooked up this auxiliary wire here which normally controls whether it's in advanced mode or normal mode. And by using the switch, most people operate it in advanced mode, but if you flick the switch down to non-advanced mode, it actually activates the SP, it forces the SPDIF um, signal to be output because normally the signal is only transmitted if it detects a TOSLINK optical cable. I've only had to make a few other modifications which is also to add a ground wire which hooks up from here to ground. I've had to desolder a capacitor, add an output buffer circuit and also hook this wire up to force the output of the SPDIF. So that's all I've done. You put the cover back on. If your circuit is small enough, it should be able to adjust fit in slightly. Cut a few holes on the side of your beautiful casing and pop it back on and you're ready to go.